Part three, chapter sixteen of Short History of the Christian Church by John Fletcher Hurst. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter sixteen The Reformation in Scandinavia. The groundwork of Protestantism in the three Scandinavian countries, Sweden, Denmark, and Norway, was already laid in the dissatisfaction of the people with the prevailing order of civil and ecclesiastical government the barons and priests had long since united in popular oppression the masses were ground down and centuries had passed without an improvement in their condition when the people learned of the reform in germany they hailed it as a blessing to them they eagerly listened to its first representatives in their own country olaf and lawrence peterson were the first native swedish reformers they went to Wittenberg as students of theology, returned to Sweden, and after 1519 were devoted preachers of the new doctrines. But many of the people were reluctant to give up their old faith, which indeed was intermixed with traces of the old Gothic paganism. The king, Gustavus Vasa, was a firm Protestant, and was greatly beloved by his people he told them that unless they would become protestants he would abdicate this he proposed in public at a great meeting held in westnays 1526 the people then declared in favor of protestantism and at the diet of orebro in 1529 and 1537 and of westnays in 1544 the protestant doctrines were declared to be the faith of the kingdom the augsburg confession was endorsed in fifteen ninety three and the form of concord in sixteen sixty three apostasy from the state lutheran church to romanism or to any protestant sect was punished with exile and confiscation of property and this continued until eighteen seventy seven protestantism in denmark and norway was introduced by men who had studied in wittenberg and brought back with them the new doctrines christian the second king of denmark publicly adopted them and took measures for their approval by the whole people john tanzen who had studied under luther was appointed pastor in copenhagen the roman catholic bishops were deposed and the property of the monasteries was appropriated to the national treasury protestantism was publicly adopted in copenhagen in fifteen thirty six and the diet of odensee in fifteen thirty nine completed the work in norway the reformation was introduced and formally adopted in fifteen twenty eight dutch missionaries carried it to iceland in fifteen fifty one where an ecclesiastical constitution similar to that of denmark was adopted End of chapter sixteen